Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel A time-traveling story that spans from 1912 to several centuries in the future, from the Canadian wilderness to uh, colonies on the moon. This is a kind of time-traveling book that's really fun to get involved in. I always hoped that a book like this would existed, but I just have never known where to find it, so it was a happy accident to come across this one. I think there are two main reasons why this book works so well. One is it's an interesting take on time travel. The story is structured very well so that it's a fun watching this mystery unfold. Uh, and second, the writing is just very good. In a lot of my reviews, I don't comment on the writing style just because the writing style is basically good enough. It's not particularly good or bad. It's just kind of in the middle. That's most books. With this book, I think she got it to that good enough level and then she kept going through drafts and revising and fine tuning and polishing the words. The phrasing in the book is fresh. She stays away from cliches and she has a wonderful ability to describe a scene or a character just by picking out a few well-crafted details and not overburdening the reader with a bunch of things to remember or what's basically a technical manual of lengthy descriptions. At first I thought the structure was confusing because you start off in 1912 and then you jump to 2020 and then you jump to 2203 and each time you have a new cast of characters and it's jarring in a way because I, and I think this is because the writing is so good, because I was just getting used to one group of characters and interested in where it's headed and then completely new cast. But after the first bit of jumping around, you start to see the thread that's in all of them and it starts coming together like a good mystery novel. I like the conclusion. I like the way she wrapped things up. My only issue was, I don't really know what the point of this story was. There are hints of fate, destiny, what if we're living in a simulation, what are the ethical implications around time travel, but she doesn't really explore it, I think, in the end. What was the moral of this book? Who, was, who or what were the antagonists of the book? Uh, I, I only have weak answers to both those questions. Uh, and I think the book would have been improved with a little more struggle, a little more opposition. Even so, I absolutely loved reading this book. The characters were good, the time travel aspect was really interesting, and the writing was exceptional. Four stars.